The Monetary Policy Committee with three new external members met on 7th, 8th and 9th October and after assessing the evolving macroeconomic and financial conditions and the outlook, the MPC decided by a majority of five out of six members to keep the policy repo rate unchanged at 6.5%. The MPC decided unanimously to change the stance to neutral and to remain unambiguously focused on a durable alignment of inflation with the target while supporting growth. High frequency indicators available so far suggest that domestic economic activity continues to be steady. The main components from the supply side, that is agriculture, manufacturing and services, they remain resilient. India's growth story remains intact as its fundamental drivers, namely consumption and investment demand, are gaining momentum. Prospects of private consumption, the mainstay of aggregate demand, look bright on the back of improved agricultural outlook and rural demand. Sustained buoyancy in services would also support urban demand. Government expenditure of the center and the states is expected to pick up pace in line with the budget estimates. Taking all these factors into consideration, real GDP growth for 24-25 is projected at 7.2%. With Q2 at 7%, Q3 at 7.4% and Q4 7.4%. Real GDP growth for Q1 of next financial year, that is 25-26 is projected at 7.3%. The risks are evenly balanced. I would now like to turn to inflation. Now, as anticipated, headline inflation softened significantly in July and August, with base effect playing a major role in the month of July. CPI inflation for 2024-25, that is for the current year, is projected at 4.5%. 5% with Q2 at 4.1%, Q3 at 4.8% and Q4 at 4.2%. CPI inflation for the first quarter, that is Q1 of next financial year, that is 2025-26, is projected at 4.3%. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.